Good morning, we're at Mullins, West Coast Barbados today. Lovely house called Driftwood. Five bedrooms. They've managed to fit it in here brilliantly well. It's still got a great feeling of space. Side patio there. Everything is very well maintained. It's owner occupied. And so it is, well, it's owner occupied. We'll do the bedrooms as we come up. I'll go through to the kitchen, give you an idea of the kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Very breezy, cool feeling. That blue hue you see on the screen is, as I always say, because of the video, the walls are not pale blue. <laughs> of course, just as I take the video, the sun goes in, but that's the story of my life, sadly. Well, from what I hear, the the weather today in Northern Europe is a lot sunnier than you guys are getting. So that's one patio. Dining table we've just passed, as you saw. Kitchen with a breakfast bar down three steps or into a wonderful security grills all round. Always nice to have. People always ask, you know, is it because it's dangerous? Not, not at all. It's the old adage of a, an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. What would that be in metric terms, I wonder? Wonderful pool. Pool room, obviously, the green building over there. Nice deep pool as well, which is very unusual here. I think that's a little bit of luck with the topography, because very expensive to build pools here. And uh, we're raised above the street level, so I think the developer got lucky with the topography. Outdoor seating under the deck, bolt-ons for storms, it's all the trend now to talk about storms. Barbados is lucky being an easterly island, or the most easterly island in the Caribbean, and let's be honest we're not in the Caribbean, we're an Atlantic island, but don't get me started on that. Um, Barbados acts as a fulcrum to the edges of any hurricane. Storeroom to the left, which we'll look through later. And then coming through to the two bedrooms downstairs. Sweet dreams. It's very comfortable, I've got to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's going to have a lie down. Only goes, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> this is an old Caribbean, well, an old Bajan thing where you, don't, where you have a shower. It's literally behind a wall. It makes perfectly good sense, quite honestly. We're so caught up in the idea of uh, you know, glass doors and partitions and you just don't need them. Just from something that the water doesn't hit the rest of the room. So bedroom number, let's call that bedroom number four. It's probably a little unkind. Downstairs is a guest WC. Again, really well maintained, wonderful finishes. Very cute. The dreaded mirror. Anyone who's watched my videos knows what I'm talking about there. I always catch myself on these blasted mirrors and reflections. Good size room this. This is a queen size bed. Certainly isn't taking up much room. Plenty of storage. Very nice. If I say so myself. Right, going up the stairs. Lovely wooden floors. Very well maintained handrails. The ceiling as well. Pickled. Adds a certain touch to the house. Three bedrooms up here. One, I think it's fair to say, is a single and is being used as an office. This one, the master suite. I'm, let me back up here. The door to the master suite is here. And then you've got his and hers sinks. Incredible floor space. Bathroom. In here is a little bluer. <laughs> it's a blue green tile. Tray ceilings, pickled again. Access hatch. People forget about the element of maintenance. It's such a pain in the neck when things. Now, I know there's a mirror lurking around here, so you get to see my hand. Lucky people. There's a gag in there somewhere. I can't think what it is. This is a beautiful room. 
contrast with the blues and whites. Obviously, that's furnishing, so you might say, well... But very bright and breezy. Two other windows are facing east, one north. I should have got these open, silly me. Um, and then you've got this wonderful patio. Wonderful because it faces south, south facing, strangely enough, like in England, really. I can only judge on England. South facing seems to be the ideal, which is fairly logical because of the way the sun moves. I really need to stop talking sometimes. It just goes on and on. Wonderful finishes. Really nicely finished. Very cosy room. Cupboard storage and above, of course, again, trade series, but again, you have the space above, which, when you're travelling, great spot to throw the uh, the luggage and what have you, just give you an idea of the roof line here. I think the rain's coming in from the look of it. So I'm going to go downstairs now and show you the storage room. With my noisy <laughs> stilettos. <laughs> ah, I could amuse myself. Storage, a second fridge. I've got to tell you, the amount of people in Barbados have a second fridge, one for drinks, one for food, because otherwise the fridge is open and closed, open and closed all day long, and it's nothing but a pain in the neck. A little bit of maintenance work going on next door. This gives you an idea of the gardens. We've had a little bit of rain lately, so I don't want to walk through and then create a drag mud through the house. I think people might get emotional about that. I know I would. So, Driftwood, in Mullins, West Coast Barbados, available at www.barbados-realestate.com, Sandcastle Caribbean Real Estate, and that bird's been very kind helping me out, what a wonderful finish.